Hi everyone, welcome back to a new tutorial with me today. I'm going to do a mixed media piece of art. What I would like to do is kind of like a lion coming out the side of the canvas. So first things first, I'm going to try using a couple of different techniques and a couple of different mediums just to show you that you can create a painting using acrylics, using inks, using pencils and you can combine them all together to create hopefully a really nice painting. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to prime my canvas. This is just a cotton white stretched canvas. What I'm going to do is prime my canvas with white gasso and then I am going to put a coat of white acrylic paint over the top just because I want it to look really crisp on the top. So the way I apply my gesso is I actually use a roller. It's a lot easier, especially when you're doing a larger painting, just to apply it with a roller. So I'm just going to open this up and I'm just going to whack a lot on there. And then just get my roller, make sure it's all the whole way. And it really helps to have a light source nearby because then you can kind of see in the light whether there's any bits that you've missed. Um, now I'm only going to do one layer of gesso because I am painting white over it so that's okay. Make sure you do um, the sides as well and then you're going to want to let that dry so either you just wait for it to dry or you can use a hairdryer to speed the process up. Okay so that's dried to touch now. So next I'm going to do one layer of white paint. This one's just a cheapy Crawford and black acrylic paint. Okay so my canvas is primed and painted white so and it's all dry, it's all ready to go. So I have a photograph of a side profile of a lion's head and that's the painting that I want to do today. So what I'm going to start by doing is using a mechanical pencil or just a really fine pencil to create the outline so I know roughly where I'm going to be painting. If you find it harder to freehand then you can always use a ruler and use grid points and mark bits out but I'm just going to freehand today. When you're using the pencil just probably go slightly in to the point where you, you think you're going to go just because obviously you want the pencil mark covered. So I might just start where I've actually drawn. This is going to be the nose. I think I've done it fairly pale. You might still be able to hopefully see it. So if you if you make mistakes and you see that it doesn't quite look how you want, just use this bit to sort of change it up a bit because obviously this section's all going to be covered, so that's fine. So I think I've got my rough shape there if you can see that that's my rough line shape and I think what I'm going to do first is just get a large watercolour paintbrush so this one is Proline by Pro Art series number 16 and it's a really smooth rather large paintbrush it doesn't look large according to this canvas but it is quite big and I'm going to grab some water and work quite quickly with some ink first of all. So I have this Liquitex ink, Carbon Black, and I'm just going to start by wetting the areas that are most dark. So I don't want too much water on the canvas at this point because it's... Um, not exactly waterproof. So I'm just going to drop the ink on the bits where I have got the water. Hopefully that will start to... And I'm just going to let that kind of do its thing whilst I do some other sections. Actually I might use it just to create some of the bits that I want to have colour. 
This is just especially a dark bit where the fur is, uh, where his ear is, sorry. And you can wet your brush and just put on a bit of water. goes down. Get some water for some light grey bits here. And this is um, just where we're kind of creating a bit of texture here and there so it honestly doesn't need to be perfect this bit because we're gonna we're gonna add a lot more work to it after. So these are just the bits that aren't so dark. Now I'm just going to wet his nose because this bit is going to be dark and also his eye. And you can kind of create your own patterns maybe at this point. So it's quite dark around his snout and then it's also quite quite dark going down here. And then at this point just kind of trying to make it all flow together um, so that the lines don't really look very separate if you know what I mean. And then I'll just put like a bit more paint on that side. This middle bit here really isn't meant to be as dark as it's turned out so just trying to get some of that out. Colour out. Oh that's better. <laughs> just because I don't need that much in there. So I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do is dry that. Next I want to create maybe some more definition and some texture. So what I'm going to do for this bit is use some black acrylic paint. I'm going to use, I've got a bristle brush here. So I'm literally just going to, on my surface there, I'm literally just dabbing some of it off and then using it. And you can kind of do different strokes to and you don't you honestly don't need much black paint on your brush at all because you're literally just wanting to pick up and you can do the same thing with white after so once I've finished black. I'm going to do the same with white. I quite like that it's a bit lighter here, it's almost like it's fading out so I might leave that like that. I might do a bit of a darker bit here. You kind of like look at maybe the direction that the fur might be going in as well. Um, and that gives like a bit more of a 3D effect, I guess. So now I'll do the same thing with white paint. Get some white on the brush and kind of do the same thing I guess. I actually just want to take away a little bit of this black here. I just want this black line here to be a bit sharper. And now what I'm going to do, um, well let that dry first. This is just a gel ink pen. I'm not completely sure which brand it is but just any black gel pen will do. And we've got a few whiskers that are black. Not many of them, most of them are white. I'm just going to use it on little bits where... So 
So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding biro strokes, sort of make it look like fur, giving it a little bit more texture I guess. And then I do just need to use a black pencil again just to sort of smooth out this bit here. And then I'm going to use the white pencil. And these are all like last minute things like reflections. The eye is there. It's just not very prominent. It's quite a dark eye. But what I'll do is I'll add a bit of white paint later. And then really this bit as well was meant to be paler down here, so if I can just take out some of the black. I think I'm kind of done. I mean I can add a few more white bits here and there, just to, especially through the black. It looks great through, through the black. I'm going to add a tiny bit of white to the eye there. Now I'm just going to use, so I have a white gel pen and this is to do the whiskers with, so this is always the fun bit, um, you can kind of do them in any direction you think. So there you have it finished. I'm really pleased with it, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out and really all together it's probably taken me maybe about an hour so it is the kind of painting that you can do quite quickly. It's a good way if you're a beginner to start practicing with mixed media just to kind of see what mediums you like using, I think it's quite handy using mixed media. So that is it zoomed out on the large canvas and like compared to my hand that is the size of it. So it's a medium sized canvas. So you can see here all the different techniques that we've used to create this piece. Thanks for watching the tutorial today. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button and I'll be back soon with a new art tutorial. Bye.